It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to a, another Sunday live stream. We're in a little different location. We are. We're on the uncorking set. Woo. Why is that, Sarah? Why, uh, why, why'd we move? Because we have this to uncork. We're going to do a first live uncorking. Yeah. So this is a Knob Creek Single Barrel Select Rye. 115, 115 proof. proof. Woo. We went to a Total Wine just opened in Lexington, and we went to their opening party on Wednesday and got this. This is their hand-selected buy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, apparently you can't get the single barrel rye unless you do a pick. They don't only do Yeah, it's pick. just their, they, they started a new um, barrel pick program pick at program. Uh, <laughs> Jim Beam. I've um, never seen this before, so when I saw this there, I got yeah. really excited because yeah. I love the Knob Creek rye, and I think it's like a great rye for the value yeah so i'm very excited yes. about this. so first off if you're joining us uh for, on the replay and you want to skip right to when we start uncorking this we're going to put the timestamps in the description so just you know pull down the description see the timestamp where everything's listed it's so nice of you chad you just jump to it <laughs> yeah so you can jump to topics if you don't want to listen to everything because we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of housekeeping here yeah and um, we sometimes we ramble and we do definitely all the time right? definitely so this is something new that we're oh, yeah. trying out right now so we uh came upon this down at the new orleans bourbon festival they had a booth mm -hmm. and it's called b4 and it's what you drink before you, you drink. drink yeah um so i reached out to him and i said hey we don't have uh access to these here in kentucky at least not yet so can you send us some so they did uh and if we like them they're going to send us a coupon code that we can pass on to you guys. But, you know, we don't like to endorse anything that we don't think is effective or that sure. we don't like. So we're currently in the testing, <laughs> testing testing period of this. So we both drank one of these almost an hour ago, yes. which is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Because normally on a Sunday after a live stream, we can be oh, kind of... We tend to crash. There's always crash. Um, yeah. food involved. There's always food yeah. ordering. And yeah. then there's generally a nap um, because, yeah, yeah it just it sucks down. us. Yeah, it sucks the energy out of us. So so we thought this would be a good... This would be like our first forte in mm -hmm. testing it. Well, oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, then we're going to try to get more scientific about it and actually have like a control night where we don't drink one of these and then replicate the exact same like down to the... At, at this time, we had this amount mm -hmm. over this period of time and da 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 So what you're saying is you want me to be hungover. <laughs> For science. It's supposed to prevent you from being hungover. It's yeah. a vitamin supplement. Yeah. Uh, it's drink, made so it's made from uh it's got all kinds of amino acids and electrolytes and stuff. It tastes like if you've ever had um Flintstones vitamins, like as a kid, it tastes yeah. like a liquefied Flintstones vitamins. Which I'm not generally a fan of anything flavored, orange berry, grape whatever yeah. because it reminds me of medicine so i don't even like bitters that are those flavors um yeah. so i don't but love i didn't love drinking it you kind of just like, have to power through yes it. you just you do you kind of yeah. have to just let me mute this it's uh, only you know 8.4 ounces so right. you kind of just power through it yeah, no, no caffeine it's made from pharmacy made by pharmacists mm -hmm. there aren't pharmacists ground up in here there's no pharmacists in here not that i know <laughs> of it doesn't list them uh but yeah you enjoy it one hour before you start drinking don't take on an empty stomach Serve chilled. Uh, a big night out might require more than one B4. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but don't take more than three cans in a 24-hour period. Because your head happen. will explode. Yes. So, we drank this. We'll let you know how it goes. If yes. we crash still after this. I mean, it's yeah. not the B4's fault. We're just... We're crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll let you know if we like it. And if we you. like it, yeah, they, they want to hook you guys up with a coupon code if you want to buy some for yo sales. All right. Thanks to everyone from all over who is joining us right now. I see you all in the chat saying hi from all over the world. I see you. Even Australia, our friends, Chris and... Already? He's already Yeah, in Chris it? and Lil <laughs> are up early, early watching birds. us. Um, mm. So thanks. Um, I want to get to this. Do we have more housekeeping? <clears throat> Not really. We might kind of talk about stuff as we, cool, as we cool. go. So what, what we're also going to do after this guy, uh, we got little sample bottles. So of things we've never seen before. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Things are falling off it. Uh, and, you know, I grabbed these because, like, uh, I haven't had this before, I haven't had this before. Never even seen some of these before. When I got home and started looking at it, they all come from the same place. What? Yeah. Oh. They're all... Um, so I wonder if they're going to taste any... Well, this is a rye. Uh, this is Charleston, a rye. South Carolina. 
Yeah, I gave you the rise. I have the bourbons. Interesting. So we have Winchester, Hayes Parker Reserve. Winchester rye and Copper Pony rye. Yeah. Now this guy is a straight bourbon. <laughs> and look what these others say. Aged at least six months. Oh, no. So we're in for a real treat, so look forward to that. Uh, this one's 90 proof. This one's 90 proof. Yeah. Aged a minimum six months. Oh, God. I didn't yeah. realize this. Oh, God. Aged a minimum six months. I did not realize this when we decided to do this for our episode. No, me either. Great. So I'm in for a world of hurt. But so maybe we should drink this at the end to make it better. No, let's no. start off strong. Okay, you're right. That's what puts butts in the seats is this guy right here. Someone likes my Star Wars shirt. Please, I like your Star Wars shirt. Please tell people that. If you've ever been to Asheville, then you go to Asheville Brewing. Because I like beer, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we had a... And I like Asheville. Lylan... 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 and Kugels. Lylan and Kugels uh, Summer Shandy with Which, some pizza. Okay. Pizza and beer. I know it's a girly beer, you guys, but it tastes like lemonade. And I was painting, and it was good. We are doing some spring cleaning and projects. And it was a nice, refreshing lemonade beer. Hey, I, I don't, don't care. Know. I don't care. It tastes good. I like it. I like other beers, too. IPA, stout. I stay whatever. manly when I drink my bourbon. That's so right. So I can do whatever when I drink my beer. Yes. For anyone joining us for the first time, welcome. Hello. We're uncorking. <sighs> this is the thing I don't like about Map Creek <laughs> bottles. It's like, I feel like you have to the wax. <laughs> break in. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I hate the pop, too. On the end. I always feel like you're going to punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Not on purpose. Not on purpose. Ready? All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Live uncorking. Gimme. You'll see how much longer these uncorkings really are. <laughs> yeah, we which cut why, them down. Yeah, which is why I've actually been hesitant about doing a live uncorking. But ooh, if you I saw someone ask if you want to send us samples, um, send us an email at itsbourbonnight at gmail .com and we can sort that out with you about because we love presents. Yeah, it's so nice of you guys to ask, but thank you. Um, a lot of things we've gotten to try, we wouldn't have been able to try if it wasn't for people sending us samples. So I think mm -hmm. that's really cool. We really appreciate it. Indeed. Pam's here. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. I'm looking like, there's Pam. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Welcome, Pam. Oh, Sarah. Pam's my mom, just so you know. Oh, my gosh. Give that a nose, would you? It just makes me smile. Give that a nose. Can you? Wow, guys. So, Jim Beam, you know how they do. You know how they do. Oh, they, it smells so They good. don't release their mash bill. Mm. So this is, you know, rumored to be in the 50% range of rye. So lower rye, 51 to 55, you know, 57% rye. And it kind of smells like it because it does definitely have that bourbon mm. nose Yeah, going it doesn't smell like a high rye. But it's got a little bit of spice, and it's just so caramely. Yeah. Like, it smells so caramely. Yeah. And I know that's really standard, like a staple description, but it really... It smells like delicious like caramel. Delicious, toasted, like, yeah. caramel oak. Fresh, oak. baking caramel Like, what you want to smell when you open a whiskey. I mean, well, I don't know what you want to smell, but this is what I want to smell. Yeah. So, no age statement on this guy. Can I drink it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was reading reviews earlier today from other... You know, picks. These are all picks. And uh, someone said on their label, it actually said it was, um, it was either five years and some months or like right at six. Hmm. And they don't put it on there. Yeah. I think they have the option if they want to. It would be on this guy. Yeah. It's 115 proof. Yeah. All right. Very exciting. Let's do it. Let's do it. good oh man i burned my mouth yesterday on pizza <laughs> and so that kind of hurt <laughs> but it's good oh man yeah they yeah 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 <laughs> side note they all want to they want to invent a drinking game where every time you say nutty they have to take a drink which i wouldn't have told him that i would have just played it because now he's just gonna say it so you have to drink you know the finish is going a bit nutty <laughs> Jerk. Honestly, though. And kind of chocolate. Mmm, lots of barrel influence in the finish. And that that's a nice, just like, tongue punch. You could also do that in your drinking game. Of, of spice. Now, can you, 
Can you identify the spice? It's warm. Yeah, well, it's mm. warm. I need a second with it. My mouth is getting acclimated. It's because a nice long finish. That burn is really throwing me off. Yeah. It's I have a nice to say. long finish. Not the burn from the whiskey, the burn from the pizza. <laughs> the pizza burn. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it does have some heat to it. I'll just throw this up here again so you mm. guys can see it. Because people are asking questions about There the it is, out of focus. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I don't have the um, <laughs> dual pixel AF. Too bad we can't camera. do our your pretty um, close ups and B roll on the live. That would be cool, but oh well. Exactly. Oh well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we just saw this. I mean, I've heard only heard about this like within the past week, and apparently other people know about it now too. So well, if you I've come heard about it a little before that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, people saw the label on the TTB website. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, now here it is. First one I'd seen out in the wild. It was thirty nine ninety nine, by the way. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is really good. I think I really like just the regular. Yeah? That's what I was drinking last night, and it was really good. True. And, you know... This, 27 I mean, 27 roughly. And this is in Pikesville range as far as price and proof. Mm -hmm. And you know how I feel about that. Everybody knows. But it's also a single barrel, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing, like... Each bottle, not each bottle, but each bottle from each barrel is going to be a little bit different. So this one, as you said, came from Total Wine and Spirits. You get one from somewhere else, it's going to be a little bit different. It might be more your jam, hmm. you know? But What is that spice? It's really solid. Um, might have to do our thing. We have misplaced our dropper. Man. <laughs> hey, what? She said... <laughs> They can tell on you, you realize. Um, All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just, this is going to be tough. I'm just going to try to This put table's it. smaller than our normal table, so we've got like two computers. I'm going to try to not knock this water over onto the computer and ruin the whole show. <laughs> Very, I love your scientific and uh, <laughs> sanitary method of Hey, <laughs> I wash my hands. I know you do. Uh, so I'll put about eight drops of water also, in Also, it's here. bourbon, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, whiskey, exactly. I'm sorry. It's whiskey. It's whiskey. Is it better than Pikesville? It's good, not better than Pikesville. And again, proof price, Pikesville. Proof price, Pikesville. Put that on a t-shirt. Put some water in there. Uh, yes, boss. <laughs> About eight drops. I like it with the water. Wow, it kind of hmm, turned it more... Um, again, you know, super scientific. <laughs> you know that, that flavor I kind of describe as antique? Yes. It's one of those things where it's like you can't put your finger on it, but yeah. it's like... It, it, kind it, of, maybe like a hint of floral, maybe like a hint of, not musty, but something like that. And it just feels like, the sense that you get if you like walk into an antique store or like yeah. an older house or something and you take a deep smell and it smells kind of like history. <laughs> well, it's a smell I got, uh, or smell, it's a taste I got with like... You love Al Young. The Al Young. That's what you said. Yeah. Hopefully that's safe. These cans explode. <laughs> <laughs> Do not put pressure on the cans. This guy hates um, cans! Someone's asked how many there, like how many different um, bottlings Knob Creek does. They do, they do like their limited editions through the twenty fifth anniversary, the two thousand one, regular on the shelf. They have single barrels. They have the rye. They have the single barrel rye, and then um, they have like a smoked maple, which I've never tried. Oh, so that'd be flavored whiskey. Yeah, we're just talking about bourbon and rye. Yeah, they just said Knob <clears throat> Creek. How many Knob do they Creek, have? Yeah. So, those are all the ones I know of. The if proof, I miss something, put it in the comments, please. The 100 Proof that used to be nine-year age-stated. The Single Barrel at 120 Proof that is still nine-year age-stated. The 100 Proof Rye, now the 115 Proof Rye. The Knob Creek 2001, which I think was five batches. And then, yeah, like you said, the uh, 25th anniversary, which was, mm -hmm. I don't know how many different proof variations proofs. they had on that one but we really like that one yeah i like that one mm. what do you think about with the water it's good yeah it's good i don't dislike it at all mm -hmm. i think it's i mean i'm not it's not my favorite but i think it's really good mm -hmm. i guess i just seem I, get, I feel like lately i've been hard to impress like eh. <laughs> i think i'm just waiting for something to blow my mind and, and it it's good yeah but like i said i mean if i had to pick between this and the hundred proof rye i'd just take that 
because okay well i mean i like the fact that it's higher proof but for the value i'd rather just take the 100 proof rye i think it tastes delicious also and if i'm gonna go over this price this proof i want pikesville okay well putting comparisons aside <laughs> 40 dollars, 115 proof <laughs> the taste where you know what's what's your verdict your final verdict gonna be i would buy another bottle because I am intrigued that it's a single barrel. Mm-hmm. So I want to know what's it taste like from someone. Like, what else yeah. did someone else pick? Someone else's pick. I'd like to get a couple of picks and then do mm-hmm. a flight. I think that would yeah. be fun. Yeah. But I like the balance. Like, I think you're definitely right. I mean, it's 51% rye because it tastes like bourbon. It's in the 50s, yeah, yeah. I feel like. I, I think it's lower it rye. It tastes like a high rye. rye bourbon. Right. Yeah. So. Oh, someone asked how much to get me to sing the Bourbon Night song. And... <laughs> I don't sing, and Chad <laughs> knows that that's for the best, so whatever. We've had some karaoke experiences that haven't gone well. This stuff makes me think I can sing, <laughs> and then when it comes time to sing and I hear myself in a microphone, I'm like, well, you don't hear yourself in a microphone, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hello. I'm like, mm, no, so <clears throat> it's not good for anyone involved, so we're just going to, there's no amount of money that will make that worth it, I don't think. Well, not no amount of money. Anymore. Yeah, I mean, come on. Take one for the team. Embarrass yourself. No, it'll be on the internet for forever. Eh. I'll end up on some late night talk show and they'll be like, look at this pathetic girl. Hey, that'd be awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. All right, fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, me too. I would say... That was delicious. I would say recommend. I like it. It's growing on me. What you're saying, I would definitely like to try it next to the 100 proof. Yeah. I'd like to try it next to Pikesville. It's too bad we can't just shoehorn this one into our final rye flight that, right. that we have to do. But but that wouldn't be good because then they can't it's have a single, the same yeah, one. Yeah, it's a single yeah. it's a single barrel pick. I think, final verdict, I was really impressed by the nose. And I think it didn't quite deliver on the taste. And the finish is lacking a little bit for me. But it's still good. The... I enjoyed it and I would have another glass if you offered it to me. Okay. I think, would you like another glass? Uh, I would instead of this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bianca is asking, what's the barrel number? Ooh. It is 6138. Hand selected by Total Wine and More, number one. So obviously they're going to do more. More. <laughs> Total Wine. And, and more. more. Yeah. Anyways, move on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's dive into the, the terrible, terrible stuff we have coming towards us. Yay. <laughs> What do you want to start with? I mean, since we were just doing rye, so should we do a rye? So sure. Do yeah? What do you think? Winchester. Let's do Winchester first, then this, then we could do your Winchester, and then the last one. Okay. Cool? That? Oh, that's reserve. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uncork this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then. So these are uh, 50 milliliter bottles. Airpl- I'm not going to pour the whole thing. bottles. Yeah, let's not do Because I have a ourselves. feeling we're not going to want that. <laughs> And you get to experience our pain. <laughs> maybe oh, I, I should go I get. Uh, I should go get crackers, maybe. Ooh yeah. I think that could be a good idea. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. See what we got going on. Yeah. This is the Winchester Rye. Ninety proof. At least six months. Oh, at least. At, at least uh, at a minimum six months. Yeah, like it could be seven. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> It smells like really bad candy. It does smell sweet and candy-ish. Like the off-brand like candy that people hand out at Halloween that you're like, what is this? I've never seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Ugh. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad idea. This was a terrible we idea. We did not think this one We through. didn't. No. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Whoa! Holy crap. Thanks, Eric. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't for you, Eric. That, that was for this. Thank you, Eric, for that super yeah, chat. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. Thank you. Whew, if it's because we're in pain, we'll keep, we'll keep doing this <laughs> we'll kind of stuff. We'll keep doing it for yeah. pain. Um, what, what would you like us to do? <laughs> we'll do anything. Eric, shall we Shall we dance you for a, you? <laughs> do you have a question? Oh, he wants, well, he's the one who asked if I would sing. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not singing. Yes. I'm sorry. I Do can't. Do it. No. I already said I wouldn't. 
That's true. She did. I'll do something else, but I won't sing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, what else you got? <laughs> she, she's being difficult. Um, I'm serious. It's bad. Like, <laughs> like, uh, I must be tone deaf or something. No, you know, you just, I don't know. What? I don't have, I also don't have the confidence you have, so, like, I think I'm in the right range, but I just am, like, sh- shaky, like, <laughs> it's just sad. I it's think... just sad. Pam, if she's on here, she'll tell you. You don't want to hear me sing. I think, um, anything you put your mind to, if you really put your mind to it and you really want it to, with practice and time, Okay, you well, I've really wanted to be a singer since two, I was, like, a little kid. Two I years wish... later and, and wow us. Like, if I could have a wish from a genie, I think, like, I'd be... I'd wish to be some sort of entertainer or have Mm. talent in that area. Other than this, like an actual talent thing, we're just drinking. Sorry, guys. You know what I mean. (laughs) Like a dancer or a singer or I could play an amazing, like I could play piano or something. That would be cool. I'm not talented. I used to play the clarinet once upon a time. I'm not very good at that either. So (laughs) musically, I'm not inclined. I mean, I'll sing the Bourbonite song, but you know, I've already, I've already done that. Um... This isn't like so objectionable. It's it's really sing, sing, sing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's really. I love you guys. But uh, no. <laughs> I think it's really light. It is actually super light, so I think it doesn't taste as bad. My initial reaction was accurate, but the more I'm drinking it, it's such a it's like, very it's easy. very backed off from that 115 that we were just at. Don't sing, Sarah. Pam knows. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. I'll embarrass myself and mm. everyone in my family. So, <laughs> bring dishonor. <laughs> to, to your house. Um, it's really light, it's really sweet, and it doesn't have anything going on. It's yeah. very one note. I think it tastes more like 80 proof, to It doesn't taste you. like a rye. It's not, there's no spice to this no at all. No spice. It's very just watered down and meh. It's wah, wah. I don't actually... So we'll give that one. I'm going to finish this later. Yeah. That was just... So Winchester rye, we're going to give a pass. Uh, in, very flat. Pat and not, not like pass fail, but rub my belly like, and pat my head at the same time. There you go. Hey, there's take call Broadway. <laughs> 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 the incredible uh, dancing Sarah. Will you she please? Can... Will you please put that as a timestamp? Oh. <laughs> do you want to see Sarah do a trick? <laughs> Sarah does a it's trick. Not a trick. Get a treat. I'll have to go get crackers. Um. <laughs> <laughs> treat. <laughs> treat. I will do tricks for food. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> she has her line, but it's not. <laughs> it's not there. It's not that. She not will it. do tricks for treats. Tricks for treats for food. All right, Copper Pony. Which, oh, you want to do all the rise? Well, while we're on the ride train, we all might right. as well. On the ride train. Our tongues in that. We're on the ride train, folks. In that mode. Sure. Also, the Copper Pony sounds like a local dive bar from a movie or a strip club. <laughs> Or a strip club. You, you guys go down to the Copper Pony. Wait, how do you know what strip clubs' names are? Movies. <laughs> Mo- movies. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You do whatever you want. Movies? If that's what you're into. <laughs> if that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> and it, somehow it always comes back to them. Yeah. It does. If you Flight haven't watched Flight of the Concords, I recommend it. Yes. Me and you. <laughs> In the nude. In the nude. <laughs> with some food. They don't if that's know that's what you're into. Well, some of them know, but... This one smells worse. <laughs> <laughs> He'll sing. Yeah. I'll do the rest of the show as a musical. <laughs> as long I'll, as it doesn't have to rhyme. I'll give you... It does smell you has more spice to it. It smells higher rye. Yeah, right? higher rye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Less sweet. Yeah. More... Just more kicking, aggressive. more kicking the glass. Oh well, we ha- someone asked what happened to the New Orleans glasses. We used them for our first pour, the um, the Knob Creek uh, single barrel select, and but we only have two. So yeah, well, as it, much as people say that oh you all love the New Orleans glass, they probably <laughs> sponsor you and give you money to say that. If that were true, we would have like a hundred Norland glasses, yeah. and we only have two. We'd have all the all the Norlands. So for these like for these fine whiskeys, we have chosen to just go with our Tribecas, because we have a lot of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. So also that's, not sponsored. We that's where we're at. Bottom line. No, we just like them. <laughs> They're really easy and fun. All right. For everyone. Let's do it. <laughs> Ugh. Well, it's got more personality. I'll say that. The front is not so bad. 
it does have more personality. You're like, oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It, like, falls off a cliff or something. It just is, It it's like, you know, the Sour Patch Kid commercials, except for it's the opposite. It's like, oh, I'm going to be sweet. <laughs> just kidding. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, if your couch. <laughs> Someone said, I told you you could do whatever you want about the strip club. They said, don't do whatever you want. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> I mean. It's a trap. It's a trap. He wouldn't. I don't think you would spend bourbon money at a strip club. No. <laughs> strip clubs are gross. I, and I wouldn't. He can do whatever he wants. But just knowing him, he'd be like, but I could have used that money to buy bourbon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, well, you're earning points with Pam. <laughs> Woo! Pam points. Pam points. She gives Matt like bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's some Pam bucks. Um, not accepted trip clubs, by the way. Pam bucks. Pam bucks. They no, don't take them there. They don't take them. Um, you know, it's also it's dry, and it's very sweet at the front. Yeah. And then it just like, again, it's just like a dual. I don't know. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> it's a very bad cop. It's yeah. It's uh. It's dry. Liam Neeson it's, and Liam Neeson with a higher voice. It has more flavor than the first one. Like it doesn't fall so flat, but it's also gross. <laughs> so yeah. Which one was this? Uh, this was Copper Pony. Copper Pony. That's right. Now, if I had to do a shot of it, I'd accept it. Okay. I wouldn't be happy about it. Depends on what point of the day it was. Yeah. So these are all also available in you know seven fifties at the at the same place that we got these for. Relatively inexpensive prices, but we definitely are glad that we spent a dollar ninety nine on all of these trip. except the Winchester straight bourbon whiskey, which was three ninety nine. So. Ooh, fancy! But they had a non straight Winchester also. Mm, that was we didn't get that one. And I, Mister Big, you know, Daddy Warbucks over here, I was like, no, nah, three ninety nine. Let's get the straight bourbon. So Soup. well, thanks for you. Really know how to treat a girl, treat right? A gal. Yeah. Did you just punch me in the face? <laughs> no, I did the, the thing. It's a thing. Um, I know what it is. Um, okay, well. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> Copper. Copper pony, Copper yeah. Pony. I don't know anything else about it, except for that it's 90 proof and a rye whiskey, and it's aged at least six months, and it's from North Charleston, South Carolina, which I love Charleston. Yeah. I don't love this. No. Um, and, uh, you know, it's got its government warning, per usual. Um, and that's really all I know about it. Let's see. Terrell. Terrapure? Terrapure Terrapure Spirits. Terrapure Spirits. North Charleston, South Carolina. No. Now this one that we're getting ready to try, (laughs) Hayes Parker Reserve is going to test my reserve theory. Well, we already. You've all heard about my reserve theory, right? Look how light that is. Yeah. Can you see that how light that is? It's like for uh, I mean just contrast. Yeah. There's the straight. I don't know if that really It's might... coming through. Yeah. This is so light. It looks more the same in the monitor. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyways. Yeah, so this is going to test my reserve theory. Uh, anything with reserve on the label so far has been good. Really, you don't like Woodford? What? I did. You did. And oh, I, you're saying back in the day. Yeah, and okay. I and I do. It's just I would rather have other things for that price mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm, but you know, I still mm-hmm. like it. Uh, this says 100% genuine, small batch. According to whom? <laughs> it's also 90 proof, and it's an experience you can spend the rest of your life with. It's that good. I believe it's going to be an experience I'll spend the rest of my life with. Regretting. But just yeah, a bad one. Uh, we'll see. Um. Oh, my t-shirt, someone else asked, is from Asheville Brewing. Um, They're in, uh, where are they? Asheville, North Carolina. Because, duh, Asheville Brewing. (laughs) They're in Brewing, North Carolina. Well, I was just thinking about Charleston, and so I was like, well, no, that's not right. I do love Asheville and Charleston. My dream vacation, not dream vacation, because if I had a dream vacation, I'd go anywhere in the world. But if I had to stay in the United States, I'd want to hit Asheville, Charleston, Savannah. Because those are some great places. Some of my favorite places. So all right, you should do it. Um, yeah, I didn't get it from Breaking Bourbon. I just got it from the brewery. So Perry says don't drink the Winchester, and I'm sorry, Perry, but we've already made this commitment. We've already, we've already bought our ticket. He's trying to save us. We're along for the ride. Oh, 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 I have paint in my hair. (laughs) What? I've been painting, and I didn't notice that this piss. 
<laughs> Look at that. Either that or you're going gray just at the tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Wow. Now Spring this... Spring projects. They have to be done. This is... This is rough. The least... It smells like... Enjoyable smelling. Thusly. Like a terrible banana nut gas station muffin. <laughs> That you eat out of necessity to survive. I'm getting a little bit of the circus peanuts now and that like, I know. Yeah, what and circus like some weird like. orange. I don't know. It's just bad. <clears throat> All right. Like a wal- weird walnut. I don't know. That's the worst one so far. Uh, and you know it. How would I put this so far? <laughs> Uh, I think I can tolerate the Winchester ride the best because it was just the flattest. Then this one, this is definitely the worst so far. This Hayes Parker Reserve. <sighs> Gross. His theory is circling the drain. It's true. My theory is has been debunked. It's been myth busted. Terrible. Yeah, busted. Just awful. Ugh. Um. Gross. Oh, it's it's just after the fact. It's just nasty. At least it's a short finish. Oh, huh. aftertaste though. Mm. I wish we had crackers. Yeah. They're upstairs. I'd go get them, but then it's screen time. You know, we can't pause. It's live. Yeah. This is things we do during normal uncorkings. <laughs> go get the crackers. Yeah. Uh no, that is not. Enjoyable. That is bad. I don't even really want to drink the rest of it. This, and we don't have to. I'm just gonna. Mm. The beauty of it. Oh. Not good. It's like. Rotten bananas. Offensive. <sighs> now for the oldest one of the lot. Oh, God. Before we get to that. So, um. I need some water. That was awful. <laughs> yeah. Um. And you kind of called this. Mm-hmm. It, it looks like Henry McKenna single barrel is, is going to start, you know, becoming harder to find now. It's because I've been telling everybody about it. It's my own fault. <laughs> You know, we've been big fans of it uh, since the show started. Um, when we heard Denny Potter, Master Stiller of Heaven Hill, talk about it, you know, he kind of called it the best kept secret that's not so secret anymore. Yeah. Um, and now it won, like, the San Francisco uh, Spirits mm-hmm. doodad. It's true. And, you know, it's it's going to start flying off the shelves, especially now that it has a cork instead of just a screw. Yeah. <laughs> So Well, you know, I feel like the majority of them that I get are good. I know we had this conversation on a previous live episode about how some people have had single barrels that they haven't liked. I've come across that one, too. But more often than not, they're good. Mm-hmm. And just, a ten, you know, a 10-year for, I mean, we saw it the other day for, like, $26. A 10-year single barrel for $26 is just crazy. And That's I, also bottled and bond. I know, right? And I can't believe that mm. it's... I'm like, I feel like I'm losing a friend or something. <laughs> I'm very, yeah. I'm a little upset. I mean, good thing is that we can get a couple bottles and it won't break the bank, but. Yeah. What's crazy is they used to do. I'll miss it when uh, it's gone. Barrel picks of it. You know, we had one at, um, uh, what was that bar? The bar here in Lexington. Which bar? The good one. <laughs> one of the good ones. We have a lot of good ones. Bluegrass Tavern. Yeah. They had a pick of it. Yeah. Yeah. Their picks are always really good. Yeah. Um, I'd love to do a pick of that. Ooh, that McKenna? would be fun. Yeah. But now, you know, it's uh, just... It's, be it's been approved for only you to go get crackers. Ah, well. Thanks? Nah, it's okay. Chad can go. <laughs> Make Chad go. You still here? <laughs> Why are oh, you still here? I'm sorry. You hurt his feelings. He's sensitive. He I'll doesn't show it. I'll be alright. Oh, this doesn't smell bad. I, yeah, it's not bad. Perry's Warden does, though. <laughs> We've not heeded his warnings. Do you have a favorite place to get store picks from? Um, There's one up north, northern Kentucky, called Gallistein. Gall- Gallistein? Gallistein. I think that's right. Is the pick. It's this little liquor store, but they... Uh, Typically have really good picks. Had some good Four Roses picks from mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. We had... Was it another Four Roses the other night with our new friends? Yes, that one was good too. Yeah, that one was good. 
Oh, and we had their um, bourbon women pick too. Yeah, and their bourbon. But women that pick. was from. From bourbon women, not from. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had that Knob Creek Hops to Go pick. That was really good. Yeah, I was gonna say mm-hmm. uh, we have a, a store here in town that actually delivers called Hops to Go, and it's not just beer. It's beer, wine, spirits. And so, snacks. And snacks. Oh, I wish they would deliver us some snacks right <laughs> we now. We could call them. Great. They could just come down mm. here and give us crackers for cracker time. Cracker time. They do good picks. We actually helped with their Woodford Double Oak pick. Mm, that one was really so good, too. So, of course, too. we like it. Duh, <laughs> we help we pick, pick it. it. And then their they have the uh, Knob Creek. Was it? Boone Bo- County. Uh, they did the Boone County pick, yes. Pick was, um, we had that, and that was really that good. That was really good. So, so far, they're batting 1,000. Knob Creek Bunning Barrel. Right? That's what. The Bunning Barrel. Oh, yeah. That, that one, one was, was good. That one was really good. That one was really good. That's right. So, so far, Hops to Go uh, has been sterling in their picks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We Liquor like Barn stuff. here is very hit or miss. Hit or miss. Like, I've had, I've an, had... an amazing Elijah Craig. And then we know, I know people that have had a terrible like Weller Antique pick. Yes. It was um, Perry. Yeah, but I've tried one, too. That I had one at home that I loved, and I've had one that I hated. So... It's very hit or miss, and I feel like sometimes they're just like, oh, it's funky and weird, so we should pick it, because it's not like anything else, and I'm like, sometimes different isn't always for the best. Like, I get it, but I don't, because it's nasty sometimes. When I was first starting to get into bourbon, I thought I didn't like Blanton's, because I had a uh, pick. I didn't didn't know what picks were at the time. You know, it just said... uh, Picked exclusively for Liquor Barn on the on the oh that's not good. (laughs) I have that to look forward to. It was misleading. Okay. Um, Perry, bring us snacks. We want that pimento cheese. We went to uh, the Liquor Barn Happy Release. I'm gonna let you finish. They have this amazing pimento cheese. I'm gonna let you finish, but But I want that pimento cheese. That's what I want and crackers. So thanks. See you soon. (laughs) So yeah, so on the neck it just says you know picked exclusively for Liquor Barn or something like that, and I was like, okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, but I didn't like it. I was like, oh, why is everyone all on this Blanton stuff? This is not good. And then, come to find out, when I learned what picks were, I did like Blanton's. I just didn't like that that pick. And I had another pick of theirs. Oh, the Hancock's Presidential Reserve. Ooh. That was also just not mm. good. So I haven't had the best luck with them. So far, we've only had one Total Wine and Spirits pick, but it's been good. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. So they're starting off well in our books. Yeah. This is misleading. It smells... Normal. What is that? I know. It tastes flavored. It's weird. Like. <laughs> Surprise. Shudder. <laughs> like, uh, they, d- synthetic syrup. Yeah, it's very synthetic. Like a caramel syrup extract just dumped in know. there. It's very thin, has no mouthfeel mm-hmm. to it. Um... I feel like you have to say it that way. Yeah, right. Um, oh, really short. No punch. Not good. A bad finish. Really glad we didn't get the dollar ninety nine Winchester. So, um, sorry, company who made all these, but Oof. we're not fans. It's giving me a headache. It's, it, it, <laughs> it's it, giving me the aftertaste reminds me of cough medicine. Yeah. It's bad. I can't finish. I've I had cough medicine that I, I like better. That. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that cough medicine. Um, let's see. Uh, someone asked if the Jefferson's Ocean is $100 in Kentucky. Um, I've seen it for $100. i have seen the cast strength for $100, $110. I saw the cast strength the other day we, yeah. at Total Wine. It was like, what, like in the, it was like 70 it was 80 70 80 yeah which is the lowest i've seen that for yeah so we've seen a cast strength as low as 80 and as high as 109 yeah um <laughs> and then the non cast strengths are what are they they're in the 70s, 70s normally yeah, yeah like with the um yeah. that's where they're like i think the rum cask and then pritchard hill hangs out there too that was bad i honestly need something to fix it uh-huh. um because it's it is actually giving me a headache um, well, do you want to bring down the normal uh, Knob Creek Rye? I do, proof? but then you have to go upstairs, and that's a whole thing. We've Apparently got, they don't mind. We've got all this stuff right here. Look at all the stuff we have. We could just pick something from there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Unless you want to go upstairs. Well, it's not that far. You can tell them about your day. Okay. Well... <laughs> Um, actually, I was going to tell you about 
how we went to the liquor barn, um, now owned by the Party Source, I believe, in Hamburg. Yesterday, we went for the Pappy Raffle, which in the past has always just been, you show up, you get a ticket, you stand outside, you wait around for several hours while someone drones on through a megaphone calling number after number after number. It's really boring, and it's also usually in November, so it's very cold. Um, this year, they held all their bottles until this week. Coincidence, because it's also the week that Total Wine opened in Lexington. So I feel like they're trying to steal their limelight. Or, their, yeah, their limelight. Their limelight. Oh, thunder. Whatever, their thunder. Whatever it is. Um, they're trying to steal it. But this year, they had... Uh, like a tent, and there were a bunch of vendors underneath with um, samples, and there were food samples and, and whiskey samples and all kinds of stuff. They had coffee, they had donuts, they had a food truck, they had a band. Um, what else? Oh, so you about paid, the five drink tickets? Yeah, so you, you pay $10 as a registration to enter to win the raffle. With that $10, you also get five drink tickets. Um, so you could go around to the booths inside and try five samples, one-ounce samples, and um, it started at, I mean, they started the registration at 7.30, but we showed up around 8.45, something like that. 8.30, yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, we just hung out all day. We hung out with Perry. He was there, too. Um, you didn't bring crackers, thanks. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're almost done. I was told to get the ride. <laughs> it's fine. I so we hung out all afternoon, and they called numbers about every 15, 20 minutes. And it's we, supposed to be every 10 minutes. Well, right. it was, they spread it out. Yeah, they, they, it was they, nice. The they band get, they played got or the like, DJ played in the every meantime. Every two minutes there towards the end, it's like, oh, we still have a lot of bottles um, to call. But, yeah. So we hung out for several hours. Unfortunately, none of us won. But it was cool. It was way better than standing out there in the cold, just waiting for your number to be drawn after just on and on and on. Because they had like 180 bottles, isn't that what they said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. But apparently it's also going to happen in Louisville. So it's not like they took all the bottles from across the company. You know, it's still going to be up there. <clears throat> mm. But yeah, nothing. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing for us. But we've nothing. had a fun time. We so got that to, was nice. We got to talk to our new friend, uh, Stephen? I think so. From uh, Limestone Branch. If you've ever... If you have not been to Limestone Branch or had the pleasure of seeing him and hearing he's him... He's a character. He's a character. Uh... This is, by the way, regular. Regular, $27. Not pretty cry, 100 proof. Great guy, and I, I'm not at all meaning to make fun of him in the in the, in the the least, because I love this guy, and he's amazing. Hearing him speak, it's like you're just... But hearing him speak... I'm, I'm just locked in. Like I'm just like, I'm hanging on every word that you're saying. He's he, very entertaining. He was talking about, I think we're Minor Case, which is a ride that they make, that's in, like I think, a sherry cast, which I actually like, which I've never liked anything finished in a sherry yeah. cast before. Um, I think he was talking about where the name Minor Case came from, and it came from a beam, because, you know, the Beam Brothers uh, run um, Limestone Branch, but he was talking about, I think someone's name was Minor. Mm-hmm. Minor Beauregard Beam. And that's how he... And that's how he... And that's how he talks. And it's great. You know, it's like, you never know what you're going to get. When you listen to him, I mean, you're just like, oh my gosh. It's great. I love you. I could listen to him talk all day. Yeah. About anything. He could tell me anything and I would just be like, yeah. more, I feel like if he, he could be a teacher, he'd be a great teacher because I would just listen to everything he had to say. Yeah. But. Yeah, absolutely. He's really awesome and fun. Um, let's see. We've got a couple of questions to answer here. Um, we do need to get our mind off of that previous bourbon with yes. this whiskey and what are a couple of your favorite YouTube channels, bourbon and non-bourbon? So I know you love that Peter McKinnon guy. Well, yeah, I kind of got, um, yeah, I found Peter McKinnon, and he's a photographer, videographer, and uh, uh, he does great B-roll, and he's a big, loud personality, too. It just translates really well to YouTube. Um, he's, he's in Canada. Yeah, so watch him. I don't watch, like, I, I, I don't really do vloggers, although he's a vlogger. But I don't do like, you know, Casey Neistat. I've watched some of his videos and so forth. And honestly kind of researched because when we put out our New Orleans Bourbon Festival video, we mm -hmm. kind of went blog, we went vlogger style for yeah. that. So instead of like having a recap here, it's just all going to happen as as it goes. Yeah. Um, Which will be fun to see what you guys think about that. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. You can tell us whether we should do it again or not. <laughs> or knock it off. <laughs> yeah, knock that off. <laughs> we don't off. like that. You're not, you're not vloggers. Quit it. Um... 
So he's about the only vlogger that I watch. I, you know, I like honest trailers and bad oh, lip reading yeah. and oh, <laughs> channels, that's great. channels like that. Um, but like bird related, uh, I mean, Scotch test dummies. Scotch like test them. dummies, yeah. Um, um, got to hang out with them. Sometimes we watch the ones. Uh, the guy with the big metal. What's it called again? Oh, the. Uh, um, uh, Shoot! Why can't I think of it? Hadn't have said it. I'm sorry. Just think about that for a second. Um, Whiskey Vault. Whiskey Vault. Yeah. I watched Whiskey Wasteland. Uh huh. Um, Whiskey Dick. Yes. Um, Ralphie. <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> I yep. watched some of that. He does all kinds of stuff. He's mm-hmm. mostly, I think, like Scotch though. Um, but he's adorable. Yeah, whiskey. You already said whiskey wasteland, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see. I don't know. It's, I don't watch a ton of. I don't either. I know it's because weird, but I, don't, I don't watch I don't, a lot of anything. I don't want to. I don't want to rip off anyone's style. Yeah. So sometimes I choose not to watch videos because I don't want to be like, well, I should do that. You know, I yeah. should do that topic or I should sh- present things that way. It's just a good way of trying not to infringe on anybody. I yeah. guess I don't know. Like, I honestly don't watch a lot of anything, like TV shows otherwise. I mean, mean, YouTube, I do watch a lot. I'll get on a binge of a show, like, Mm. right now I'm watching The Office, I'd never seen it before, so I started from the beginning, and I'm binging that. But other than that, like, I'll stick to one show, and we don't really have a lot of time. Yeah, we don't. I mean, (laughs) I don't don't just, like, I wish I could explore more, but... Mm -hmm. We just don't have a lot of time. So yeah. I support everyone. I mean, there's room for everybody. Yeah. You know, just like the Master Distillers, they're all friends. <clears throat> they all sure. collaborate and hang out and stuff. Same thing with, you know, bourbon yeah. channels. Uh, definitely. So, so we support you, even if we can't always watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we listen to podcasts. That's mm-hmm. that's the easier thing, because you can listen yeah. to them in the car when you're driving. So yeah. um, our friend Perry, this is my bourbon shop, and of course the guys at ABV Network, they're great. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, that's that. So, ooh, and... Evan said he can send us some pics from Texas. That would be great, Evan. Okay. Uh, just send us an email at itsbourbonite at gmail.com, and we can sort that out. Like pics of destiny? Mm, pics of Texas. Pics of Texas. Um, when are we going to drink some good bourbon? Well, this isn't bourbon, but this is rye, mm-hmm. and it's going to help fix it. Yeah, so this is just Because I have, like, a tiny bit of a headache. The straight rye. Patiently aged. 100 proof. Rye whiskey. This is the Norland glass. 100 yeah. proof rye whiskey. This is patiently aged. It's dead on. Beauregard. He probably wouldn't like that. Well. <laughs> he's great. We're not trying to make fun of him. It's just, we appreciate it's just it. It's stick. It's or cool. he's from Louisiana. I don't know. Or by the battery. By the battery, <laughs> Louisiana. Perry said he's legit about to go get that cheese and crackers and come see us. Do it. Come on. <laughs> We're just hanging out the rest we of the We need cheese and crackers. Yeah. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and we crackers. need crack- cheese and crackers. Oh, I get what you did there. Yeah. Um, if you were going to buy a barrel-proof bourbon, which one would you get? A barrel-proof bourbon? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Booker's. Ooh. I would also have to say Booker's off the top of my head. I'll probably think about this again later and be like, oh, I should have said that. Mm-hmm. But it's the most, I know that they're all different, but it's the most consistently good barrel proof never had a bad i've one. never been disappointed by nope, a bookers never so i think that's what i would say also and i know some people Let's got bent out of shape about the price hike but when you think about it for what you're getting the proof the age the deliciousness it should cost that yeah <laughs> you know i don't know i literally uh, can't think of anything else right now uh, so. is this the norland glass yes I you already said that yeah sorry it's okay you don't listen where are it's we fine. Oh, we are here. Okay, I didn't know where we were. Did we review Angel's Envy Rye? Um, no, we didn't. We don't have a bottle of that. Didn't we I get have, a sample? I think we have a sample of it somewhere. I had it before in a bar. I thought it was god awful. I thought it <laughs> just tasted like, it. like, um, what did what did I say? It was like chocolate and and nutmeg or something, and it was just very two note, like boom boom, and there was just n- it was such overwhelmingly powerful flavors mm. of those things. It wasn't like a good chocolate; it was like a bitter, unsweetened baking chocolate, not like you know nice chocolate that's <laughs> sweetened. Um, oh, okay. And I just was turned off by it. It was not for me, mm-hmm. and for the price point, definitely not. However, I'd try to get on camera and sure. maybe not have the same reaction. It's been a while. It's been about 
a year, year and a half since I had that. There so you go. every one of my friends thought I was crazy. Whenever I, they were like, "Have you had the new Angels in Me Rye? What do you think?" I was like, "I thought I was gross." They were like, "Are you kidding? It's delicious. It's the most amazing rye I've ever had." I'm like, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> really?" I mean, I'm not one to look down on people. It, each to each his own. You like what you like, but yeah. it did not float my boat. So, <sighs> um, in fact, it sank your battleship. Has the bourbon boom reached its peak? I think no. I think it's... <laughs> All signs point to no. I mean, I don't know. For now. But I don't think so. I think, okay, so we all talk about... I mean, eventually everything has to end. There are eras, and all eras come to an end. But, I mean, like, if you look at, like, the vodka era, I mean, I would say that was the 80s, 90s. Because, you know... But eventually they ran out of flavors. Like, they didn't have the history, the stories. There was... The differences that they could do were yeah. only the flavors. So there was no aging and how do you age it. And, you know, the things that make bourbon unique, vodka just didn't have. Yeah. And so it busted because people got tired of it. Like, they're like, s'mores flavored vodka. What the hell is this? And <laughs> and I guess eventually everyone Marshmallow. Got, got sick of it and they wanted something that wasn't what their parents drank or whatever. And they wanted something more authentic, which bourbon more is. More handcrafted. And I feel... Artisan. Now, that kind of stuff... Buzzwords. Is, I think, what's going to drive it to bust. Yeah. Because so they're popping up everywhere. And well, everybody wants $70 a bottle for their handcrafted, two-year-old, <laughs> rolled in five-gallon barrels every single day with music blasted at it. Because <laughs> it makes it taste delicious. It's heated and cooled every 15 seconds. That's going to drive it, I think, to... Um, they carry it around in one of those baby Bjorns all day <laughs> in a five-gallon barrel, and they're just like, they're patting it, loving it, and singing to it. It's aged with love. Aged with um, love. This, it's going to get out of hand, and I think eventually that will kill it. They have it in a little crib, and in the middle of the night, they come in there, and then they strike it! <laughs> you're not supposed to do with the baby, crazy. but you can right. with a bourbon barrel. That's insane. Uh, I think eventually those will be the reasons why it will bust, but... yes. Yeah, because, you know, the people, uh, you know, we hear it all the time. I'm starting to get into bourbon, just getting into bourbon. If their first experience or even first couple of experiences is with a craft distillery that might be putting out a higher price product than it should be that's aged less than it should be, then they might just be like, well, I guess I don't like bourbon, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, I love craft beer, so let me try this craft bourbon stuff. And if it doesn't meet expectations. Which, now, not, not to saying that it wouldn't, because there's some great craft distillers there are, out there. But then there are also some ones, and I feel like that's the that's the bummer, is that yeah. they're putting out stuff that's too young, that's too expensive, that doesn't meet expectations, especially for a new drinker, someone who comes to go on the craft bourbon trail, and they're yeah. like, this is going to be awesome. And then they don't like it, and mm -hmm. that ruins it for them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they give it another try. But Hopefully. that's how we feel about that. Um, we, could, we could talk... For probably an entire episode about that. As long as we have a bottle of something, yes, right. yes we could. Have we tried Sagamore Barrel Proof Rye? No, we have not. That sounds interesting. My Aunt Patty is on here. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, my Uncle Doug is a huge Maker's Mark collector. Yes. Has like an entire room dedicated to all the different limited edition bottles dating back to, I mean, I don't even know when. There's so many in there. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to go into. Like, I don't enjoy the taste of on the shelf maker's mark but you have to appreciate the dedication to getting all of those like hunting them where are you going and she wants to know if we've tried the maker's private select single barrel and i honestly if i have to get makers oh we can't open that though no we can't open it yeah um yes <laughs> i if i have if i'm going to drink makers this is what i want because i think these bottles can be really delicious Yes. And I think you agree. We are going to open this. Not now. It's but dusty. But we are going to open it. It's a dusty. We've had that for, for a while. Yeah. Um, this was a Parley Social. Which is take, a bar. Which is a local bar. Lexington. Um, but yeah. So I think those are the best. I mean, it doesn't even taste like Makers. It's just so good. They have such amazing flavors. Mm hmm um, We'll probably have to wrap it up soon. Soon. I want to know what you think of this compared to... Where did it go? <laughs> ah, to this. Well, do you want to try them side by side real quick? Because we have five minutes. <laughs> well, how? Okay. Just rinse. Let's, well, just pour, is that enough for both of us, of this guy? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll answer questions while you do that. Um, can you review Wild Turkey Decades or Diamond or Master's Keep? That's yes. up to him. Yes. Okay. Perry, do I want him to bring anything special? I don't know. Bring yourself and whatever else you want. 
Are you really going to bring that cheese, though? Because I'm super <laughs> excited. Well, I'll go get the cheese. It's fine. Um, pop. Uh, anything is fine. We got lots here, so we're good. And have we tried Balcones? I don't know if I said that right. Uh, new rye, 100, or cast strength rye. I've never even heard of that, so that would also be cool to try. No, I haven't. Tell us what you think about it. Maybe we can go get some. Yeah. I All like right. It. I'm going to just get another little splash of this in there. And we have... sploosh. We are at the, like, less than five minute mark, so we're, we're close just... close to the finish line, guys. We're just going to uh, do this last comparison real quick. Yeah. And... I feel like we should toast to Eric Lewis. Yes. Let's... Let's. So I have the... I, I shall toast the... you with my hottest wine. I have the standard on the shelf right. He's got the single barrel. That's from something. The guy's don't... like... We don't have time for you to remember. He's hit on the head, and he can't remember... To Eric. I shall toast you with my haughtiest wine. And what is that? Mm. I can't remember. You love characters. Mm. Mm. That's just so good. It's so easy. And yet it's substantial because it's 100 proof. Is it Sunday morning? I get what you, I get what you did there. Um, I mean, it's Sunday afternoon, so sure. <laughs> the other nice thing about that event at Liquor Barn yesterday was that they didn't make you feel bad about drinking at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> As they shouldn't. That was nice. Ooh. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I kind of feel like I... This one's just got a little bit more to offer. Yeah? You think so? All right, one more time. I mean, this is really good and very, very, very drinkable. I need it back to back. Okay. <laughs> Never say that again. This is the one I had originally, the regular. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. It's just so easy. It's super easy. We don't know if we're going to Bourbon Beyond. We're Dang, that's tough. Yeah. We are going to try to go to Bourbon Beyond. At least one day, we're going to yeah. go for sure. Okay. Well, there you go. This just in. Listen, we last are going. Year, it was like 100 degrees, and I got hot, and my family can attest to this when we get hot we just get real pissed off <laughs> and there's no calming us down like it's just like i gotta get away from it it's so hot i can't breathe i had to apologize to him last year because i was like i've been awful this entire weekend we went for two days all day long it was so hot you couldn't even drink so anyways hopefully this year it's not so hot because <laughs> oh! i was just a terror <laughs> yeah all right here's my quick all right uh i really do i like this single barrel it's delicious, but for consistency's sake, I gotta go with this one. I think you don't want to try these side by side because this guy makes this guy taste really kind of not really, but kind of flat. But see, I think that's just the comparison. The back fifteen to back. proof, yeah. I get what you're saying. I, I hear you. It's fine. I don't know. I think I like this one with just a little bit of water. I'm, I'm not normally a water in my whiskey kind of guy. I like them both, but I'd say this is more. Not special occasion, but yeah. I this is a daily drinker for me. Okay. I like it. Yeah. On a weekly basis. We could, we could technically go thirty minutes longer, but we're not. We try to limit ourselves to an hour because if we just went on, who knows where we would. Who knows end what up. would happen? I mean, I can't make any promises. It'd be crazy. We would just end up doing something crazy. So, on that note, I think we should sign off before right, we get cool. into that mode. Sweet. Uh, of course, you guys know you can follow us on Instagram uh, and Twitter and Facebook. It's at It's Bourbon Night. You know we got things like our Tribecas and other things we like to use on our Amazon page. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night. I'm just going to do them all today. Right, sure. Go ahead. I'm just <laughs> sitting here listening. And lastly, you can become one of our drinking buddies on Patreon by going to Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night and looking at those options there. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Travis, for moderating. Thanks, Eric, for being awesome. Thanks, everyone else, for being awesome. He wasn't the only one who was awesome. It was everyone. Everyone's everyone. awesome. Yeah. We'll see you soon, Perry. And until next time. Well, what do you normally say, Chad? I normally say, drink more bourbon. <laughs> right. Bye. <laughs>